how to add create and filter categories in outlook email hey everyone welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step to how to do all of these things so how to add specific mails or emails in a specific category how to create them and also how to filter between them easily so this is going to work best in your uh, outlook mail so just go ahead and go open up your outlook mail account uh, and we can just go ahead and click on this to take us to the Outlook mail. Now, I'm not sure there's a way to create categories without having to click on a specific email and add it first. So, all you need to do at first is just go ahead and click on a specific email just once. Like so, for example, I'm just going to use this one as an example here. So, just go ahead and click on any email that you actually want to create a category for. And then you have two different options. The first one is going to be going to the, uh, once you actually click on it, is you go to the three dots on the top right, which is more options. And if you just click on more options, you will find uh, within the tags section, categorize. So in here, you can just go ahead and uh, create a category from these colors. Or if you want, you can also, you know, manage categories to create different ones and so on. So I'm just going to use the green one. Uh, so now we have green category, but what if we want to make it even more custom? So again, we can just click on more options, categorize, and then just click on manage categories. And here we can actually go ahead and set up all the categories that are available once this actually loads in. So it did not actually load in for me. Sorry about that. Uh, I actually had to look it up in here. So just type in categories and settings and you will find it. Now in here, you will have the ability to... Uh, adjust the names of it and so on so we can just go in and change the green category for example we can just go in and uh, click on the pencil right next to it and give it a d different name for example test category like so and we can also feel free to change the color for it so we can just go ahead and make it you know full purple uh, uh green sorry uh and again you can just feel free to do the same thing for the rest of them and you can also store them to favorite to favorite a specific category. But anyways, once this is done, again, you can just go ahead and click on it. Click on the three dots and categorize. Select the category that you actually want. And as you can see now, this email is now um, shown with the category and the name of it. And also uh, the color of it. Now, you can also add a category differently by actually right-clicking on a specific mail. Uh, or email and then you will be able to categorize it from here instead of clicking on the top right corner so you can just go ahead and set up red category or even new category here let's just go ahead and give it a name uh another test and we can just go ahead and select the color that we actually want so we can just go for this one click on save and now we should have the category set now finally is going to be filtering between categories it's also very simple if you just go to your inbox you'll have this filter option here and it should actually show you the uh, categories section but for the time being i believe you know uh, w with this update that i have or something let me just try to restart and find it uh, sometimes it is buggy and does not actually show so that's what i'm trying to say here but usually if you just go in and click on filter here you should actually find by categories and you'll be able to select the correct category that you actually want to filter through now, in the new Outlook, they did remove a whole lot of features for some reason. Uh, maybe it is one of them uh, that was removed. I'm not entirely sure why it's not in here. But um, besides that, that's pretty much all we can do when it comes to categories. It is actually a very um, great method to organize things evenly uh, and so on. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.